I went to Cowboys. I went to Cowboys. You know, hey, look, somebody had to do the job, so it might as well be me. So, so <laughs> I went over there, you know, just to help y'all out, you know, so I can have something to talk about today. I was there for one day. Went over to visit Zeke. His agent asked me to come over to Rocky Arts in order to talk to him. Mm -hmm. And I can say Zeke is in a very good place. I mean, mm -hmm. you being a Cowboy fan, you got to mm -hmm. be very happy to hit a good place. I always thought he was a good young man, really. When I first met him, you know, you know, all of us when you're young, you got that kind of the edge chip on your shoulder. But right now, talking to him, and I told him, first thing I told him, I said, you know, what, I said, what do you want to do? He said, I want to come back and play football. You know, I want to do what I do best, and that's play football. And he's excited about coming back. Uh, he looks very, very good. He, he don't look chubby, Skip, so he's been working out. I worked out with him a little bit, and I got something for you, too. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, I think he's ready. And, but, mm -hmm. but, we, but we made a bet. So I, I said, so when you come back, what do you expect of yourself? He said, I'm going to have 200 yards the first game back. I'm like, I'm like, come on now, Zeke, no, not 200. He said, yeah. I said, I tell you what, I bet you you don't have 200. He said, okay. I said, I bet you my jersey against the game jersey you're going to wear in that game. He said, that's a bet. I'm like, all right. Now. I said, look, I didn't give you a break. I said, 175. He said, no, I want the 200. So there we go. These, these are the Seattle Seahawks. That's what I said, the Seattle Seahawks, 200. And the most they've given up under, in the Pete Carroll era is 182 <laughs> in the MVP season to Adrian Peterson. And he was getting about 180 against game, everybody. Again, right. So, against so. everybody. So that lets you know what he's going to be up against. Um, I'm happy. Um, hopefully he is in a great place. But it's hard for me to believe that a guy can just walk in. Because basically he's walking off the street. It's like opening day. How many guys have gone for 200 yards opening day in an NFL season? After missing six weeks, that's what he's done. He hasn't played football. You can train, run on the beach, and lift all them weights and squat and pull sleds all you want to. But ain't none of them football players. Ain't nothing like playing football like playing football. football. I know. And Although he will be fresh. You got to give him that. Yeah, he will be, he will be the fresh. The only thing I want fresh is fruit. Mm. I don't want my player. I want him to be in I, game I, condition. I want my running back fresh, though. Yeah, but but, but he's gonna be fresh for what? What do you be fresh for, Skip? Y'all going home after the, in three weeks? <laughs> Y'all going home? That's what you're doing. So he's gonna be fresh for what? Did we get that on tape? Yeah, you're going <laughs> home. <laughs> you're going home. Mm -hmm. I hope he's in a good place. I want him to come back and run the ball exceptionally well, and hopefully we will not have any other incidents. Nobody can railroad him or what he feels he was wrong. Hopefully, he learned a valuable, valuable lesson through yep. this, Skip, and moving forward. The only th <clears throat> talking about one Ezekiel Elliott we're going to do is going to be football-related, mm -hmm. cowboy-related, on the field. Mm. Nothing off. I'm happy for him. Hopefully, he's in that spot that you're telling mm. us. Yeah, I mean, I think he really is. I mean, when I say that, and I'm not just saying it, you know, one thing I, I, I stressed him, I said, look, Zeke, you have an owner that cares about his players. He does. And, and he agreed with that. He, he said, no, I said, if you play with one of these owners that don't care about their players, you will see the difference. I said, you know, you and Dak, y'all play well together. Y'all need each other. And he, under, he understood that. I mean, one thing I do like about him, he loves football. When you talk about he loves playing football, you know, he, he's passionate about the sport. And he, this has humbled him. You can just tell. It humbled him. I mean, so I'm... I'm I I'm wanted to go to Cabo too, Rock. Hey, Rock, I'm don't you, call my phone. Don't text they, me, don't write a When you do go, go, go to, you like massages and all that kind of stuff, the Del Monte Resort, mm. go there. I mean, it's mm. beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm going. I got to say. So I got to say, this was a good sign that that agent called you. I have a lot of respect for you and your wisdom in the position. You've mentored mm -hmm. a lot of backs who've come after you, and you're one of those great backs. I think you're the best back ever. That's just me. Thank but, you. But I, I, I do believe that there are other backs who don't really like to give up what they learn. Some don't don't have much to give Some up. Some players don't you know, like doing that skill. I know. I, I got it. I got it. Some running backs were just so gifted. They don't really get it. They, they just sort of saw that ran to daylight. But you have a sense and a feel on and off the field. So I'm happy that that agent said, you come down here and talk to my guy. And it sounds like that guy was receptive because, I don't know, is he playing a part? Is he saying and doing the right things? I don't think he had to do what, what you did with him. Like, I think he was open. It sounds like he was open to what you talked about, right? Very, very open. I mean, you, you know when you, when you talk to someone and they're talking to you with, with that, like. Exactly. Like, yeah. No, he was like, like, like. Yes, I, I totally get it. I understand. You, I mean, it, the body language, because you know, body, body language tells you a lot. Mm -hmm. and, and, and his body language was like, I, I know I messed up, but I, that wasn't me. That was not me. And she still stands by, I didn't do that, but I'm taking it and I'm moving on from it. And that's, that's important. Like I, I told him, I said, look, Zeke, if they came back and they said, here you are, 
We got a video. You 100%, you, you, you said you didn't do it. I say, still, in pub, the public opinion, people going to say, oh, Jerry paid him off. I say, you're guilty no matter what. I say, so come back, put this behind you. You're still going to make mistakes. Now, you are, I mean, you're 22 years old, just not these kind of mistakes, mm -hmm, not, right. not this kind of stuff. So he's not going to be perfect. I told him, no one's perfect. Trust me. Okay, but, so but, but, but he's in a good place with that. I believe it was Stephen Jones who said early on, just as he started serving the six-game suspension, that he was going to serve it in Europe. That's what got out there. And, and it made me wonder, does Zeke need to go someplace to sort of dry out a little bit, to, to go through some sort of rehab for six weeks, to s deal with issues with alcohol or whatever? And I don't know if he did that or not, or if you get any feel for that. No, he, he, he's been in Cabo for six weeks. He that's, has. That's, 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 he's been in he's Cabo, been in, Europe, the, close the, enough. The, close. The, yes, I, uh, they, they, yeah, they're real close. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's been at the Diamante Resort for six weeks, working out. Um, we went out and had dinner, and, you know, we had a few drinks. But, you know, I can honestly say I watched everything he did. You know, watched, you know, how he handled people, how he treated people. Mm -hmm. Just a real respectful young man. Now, we did have one disagreement. And what do you think that disagreement is about? The Dallas Cowboy Rams game. Uh huh. <laughs> he uh -huh. said we had to lead. You know, y'all, y'all got a block punt. I said, look, who? I said, I say this with Skip all the time. Who won the game? Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah, won well, the game. But I said, it's no buts. It's the no buts. Magic but. names, the magic words. Uh, Sean, Sean Lee. Lee. But did I'll, he say it? No. All I got to say is. W. That's all. <laughs> That's all I serve. <laughs> I now my my uh, my W shop. I mean, I got a little pop-up shop. They pop it up all over the place. Uh, they pop it up. I had a little cinnamon, a little bacon. They flying off the shelf. Really? <laughs> Them hot dub in <laughs> Philly, they selling out. So it's not exactly a health food restaurant. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's hot dub. They want them. And they got uh, Hennessy on the side. Yeah. Your team, I tried to open one up in uh, uh in Dallas. Yeah. Couldn't get a permit. They right. already know. Yeah. Well, my team was ahead at halftime of that game. Oh, here we to go 16. with this. My guy. team scored 24 first half points on the Rams and just couldn't stem the tide in the second half because Sean Lee would have stopped Todd Gurley, especially on the little pass and run for whatever it was, 75. Skip, yards. you know pro sports. This is how it works, and like in mm -hmm. team sports, yeah. there's not a quarter on the amount of points you can score. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you score you. 24 in the first half, you can score 40, 50, 60 in the second half mm -hmm. exactly. if you want to. Mm -hmm. You, you the know, Cowboys didn't want to, I don't think. That's, that's they, how, they, they want to Sean start. Lee got hurt. That's what cost Armorosa a job, Edie. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Yeah, Sean Lee injury. Well, so it's a lot I'm, of butterfly effect from Sean Lee. Yeah, wait a second. How do you explain that with Sean Lee, this team is six and one, and without him, it's one and five? How do you explain that? You just I don't know. Hold on. You're talking about this year. Sean Lee has been there since 2008. Yeah. They've had Sean Lee a lot of those times. Yeah, <laughs> and they he's in his prime now. And hold on, first of all, what what is what is what is the 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 book on Sean Lee? What does his history tell you since he's been with the Cowboys? He gets hurt. He gets injured, doesn't he? <laughs> Injury prone. Mm -hmm. what, what's that? What's the saying? You can't make the club in the tub. Mm. Skip. So last year he stayed healthy all the way through. Didn't play the last game at Philadelphia. But he went 13 and three last year when he was healthy. If you don't mind me, if you don't mind me asking, um, did he play in that playoff game? Yes. And they gave up 34 points in the playoff game. Yeah. And so he hadn't played for three weeks. <laughs> I you realize get... that because they got two weeks off and he didn't. They play didn't get no two weeks yeah. off. Yeah, they did. They had a bye. Well, I got to give it to you, Skip. You got to ask the old Houdini I... effect. You got You got I... poof. I pulled one out the head. You, yeah. You didn't see no. that? You truth. Didn't see that? Truth. Truth. Lip... See, my restaurant sells truth. No, <laughs> I don't want the truth. I want the dub. <laughs> Would, mm. would you like, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about opening up in uh, Cali, mm -hmm. dove with avocado. Because mm. I hear avocado is a nice spread out here. They say avocado toast, avocado and everything. So I'm thinking about opening up an old pop-up dove shop. I, I'm thinking about asking our man Eric Dickerson, what if somehow, some way, billion to one shot, <laughs> okay. the Dallas Cowboys win their last three games or last five games as it would be, but there are three left mm -hmm. and they beat Oakland, they beat Seattle, and they go win at Philadelphia, and they somehow squeak into some final playoff oh, okay. spot. How dangerous would that team be with Ezekiel Elliott fresh and ready and happy and healthy in the playoffs? Well, I'll say this much here, this. If it's a fifth, we'd all be drunk. Let's put it like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if they get in, they're very dangerous. They could be a very dangerous football team. Mm -hmm. I think uh, this team uh, um, with your, your guy, Sean Lee, you know, if, if he's healthy, with Zeke back, you know, with Dak, the offensive line play, playing well, you know, they could be a very dangerous football mm -hmm. team. But are they going to make the playoffs? No.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.